Hello everyone and welcome back to my Mod Showcase series in Kerbal Space Program 0.23.5 and we're continuing with our nifty parts. In the previous episode I left this little probe, test probe in orbit and I'm going to actually boost this orbit a bit so that we can use it in the future. So let me quickly do that. In this episode I hope to well, uh, give you some idea of two mods in particular, Infernal Robotics and Hull Camera VDS and both are created by Magic Smoke Industries so we'll see how they work together and also how they work with some of the other mods that I have installed in this uh, Nifty Parts compilation. Uh, not an official compilation, it just happens to be my own assemblage of mods for for certain purposes that I'll show you. Okay, so we've got a safe orbit now, so that something could rendezvous with this this little test object here. With its uh, remember, it's got a winch on the front of it, and so maybe we'll see how that operates. But that's not for this episode. I still have to play around a little bit with that so that I can figure out what I may or may not do with it. All right, but Infernal Robotics and Hull Camera VDS. Let's go to let's go to Space Plane Hangar. Okay, so here we are, and let's start with a Probotronics part, this little rover body. And interesting about this rover body is that it has components that we really slap onto all the rover bodies uh, anyway, so it's nice to have it built in. It's got a little electric generator, a small um, RTG built in, which gives about 18 units of electric charge per minute, as you can see. And that's more than the requirement of the command module itself, which is also built in. And it has a small reaction wheel. Actually, that's a pretty substantial reaction wheel. Actually, looking at it, do you know the generator? Well, the reaction wheel doesn't isn't always active, so it doesn't matter. And then it's also got electric charge. So it's a fully featured... Oh, dear. So it's not for the space plane hangar. But I need it in the space plane hangar because if you're going to build a rover, it's better to build it in the space plane hangar. Okay, so not configured for this hangar by default, but we can still use it hopefully. Let's see how the, the critical thing is how the wheels attach. So we'll get wheels on first and then we'll see what we're going to do with the parts that I want to feature. Yeah, the wheels will attach properly. And let's see now. Looks like they'll drain a little bit more battery than it has, so we'll have to add some supplementary RTGs or some other source of power. Well, let's get a solar standard solar panel, right? Now, one of these. How big would that be? Uh, no, none of that. That should be fine. So we've got a rover, right? And we've got uh, electricity generation is fine. It's got a probe part inside. So that's very handy. But what can we do with it if we have Inferno Robotics and the Hull Camera VDS? Well, we can do what you've probably seen in some of my other videos, especially the uh, Elegant Design Bureau launch videos that I've been doing. The first one, at least, had this. And what it is, is a powered hinge. Uh, powered hinge one half might be a little bit too overpowered. But let's go with it. Mm, if I can get it on right, there we go. Powered hinge one half and then a IR Rotatron one half. Hopefully I can get this on right. Uh, that looks... It looks upside down. Okay, come on. All right. And here is the Inferno Robotics uh, configuration. I want two groups. I want the Rotron on this group. And I'm going to call this uh, up, down. And I'm going to say keys, well, let's say five and six. And this is uh, rotation. Uh, say seven and eight. Okay, 
So basically we're action grouping the rotation and stuff and now on top of that what I want to do is put one of the hull cameras. Could use any one you like but I'll just go with arrow cam because it's the one that is simplest for me. Okay. Mm, if for some reason the symmetry is not working out the way I... not symmetry, the snapping. Hmm. Not working out quite the way I expect. Okay. So now we've got a little camera on board. And let's activate that camera with... Uh, yep, yeah, with number one. Very nice. So you saw me playing around with this sort of camera before. And now you're going to see me play around with it with a little bit more... Have a little bit more fun with it. You could also put all sorts of other bits and pieces on. We haven't gotten to ScanSat yet. That's that's another thing entirely. Multi-spectral sensor. Oh dear. But yeah, I think we've got all the necessities. What a simple little robot. Let's see if it works. Now this time we don't need FMRS armed or even active. This is the servo, servo control for the um, Infernal Robotics. But we're not going to use it because I've already hotkeyed the, the hinge and the rotation. As you can see that's working out. Let me get this solar panel out so we don't lose electric charge and inopportune time. Oh, is it going to smack the thing? Uh, okay, got clearance. Alright, good, good. Alright, now let's go to the camera. Uh, yeah, let's go to the camera. And here it is. Uh, we could drop the HUD. And yes, we are, we, we, this is now the camera on board the rover. And we can look around and we can drive forward. Ooh, whoop, whoop. Okay. A little bit hard to figure out whether it's the rover turning or the camera turning. This is the camera turning. Camera. Yeah, I guess we could uh, look at our shadow a bit. Oh, uh oh. Well, I think we lost something. <laughs> I could see from the shadow we lost something. What? What? What did we lose? Oh no. Oh, uh, I guess. I guess not. Huh. Okay. Okay. Up. Up. Come on. Okay, we'll just continue. Oh, uh, to get out of the camera, of course, I recommend backspace. So there we Oh, we did lose the solar panel. Why didn't it tell us? It didn't tell us we lost the solar panel. We just lost it. Well, we're going to be on uh, limited electric charge then. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the onboard camera and let's take a look at the facilities of the KSC, shall we? Let's get rid of the HUD. Oh turning on this thing is a little bit uh, so this is the actual rover turning and we'll try and keep our so this is the camera come on I guess uh, having the HUD on, no, nah, it doesn't look that good. We'll just go with this. Let's go on the outside of this particular... I don't know what kind of tank that is. Whoop. We get... So, imagine roving around Duna like this. Whoa, whoa, no, no. Leak. Oh, knocked that a little bit. Okay. Yeah, this is something. So we can turn our camera. 
Whoa. All the way around. Okay, I think you get the idea. I mean, this is something something rather different if you if you like your rovers, and uh, I don't get nearly enough time to play around with them. But it could be an interesting experience. But let's try something different. Let's go back to the space plane hangar. So that was a cute little thing. And of course you can easily imagine building a much more substantial rover. But let's turn our eyes to something a little bit different, shall we? Let's let's go for a plane since we're in a space plane hangar. Here's a plane. Now it doesn't look very appetizing, I'm sure, but I think you're missing something here. Uh, at least if you haven't used Infernal Robotics before, you might be. And that's that there are hinges here. Indeed, and you'll notice it's called swing wing. So before I say anything more, let's take it out. Let me just make sure the center of mass and center of lift are good. Okay, it looks fine. All right, let's take it out and see how it works. And of course, Jeb should be the one to fly this. Uh, it's not really coming back, by the way. I'm not intending to land it or anything. Uh, it's not got any intake, so you know I'm going to have the rapier in... Uh, in non-air breathing closed cycle so that's gonna cause a lot of fun I wonder why the why is the oxidizer less maybe I was intending to put intakes at some point shall we put intakes yeah okay let's let's put intakes it'll be a little bit more fun that way okay so now we've got intakes so I'm obligated to at least try to land this thing at the end of this. Um, it is air breathing mode, so that's fine. We've not got FMRS arms, that's fine. Throttle up, SAS on, we really don't need maximum throttle, I don't think. Okay, so during this phase, I think we will keep the wings straight out and go. Okay, come on. There we go. You have to be careful about this though. If you put too large a wing on these, it uh, might cause them to snap due to air... Well, that might have been just ferrum aerospace though. I take it back. I don't know if uh, in stock it would uh, snap the wings off with uh, aerodynamic forces. Okay, it looks like we do need a little bit more juice. And since we're at full throttle, let's have the wings swing back. Now I do know that in ferrum aerospace, if you do this, uh, even even in stock, this should mean that the center of lift moves back. It should have an effect. I'm not 100% sure it does in stock, but I have tested it in ferrum aerospace. It does, does have an effect on the center of lift. So this could be a functional thing for you to mess around with. It's not just... Uh, it's just not, uh, it's not just for looks. Oh, we seem to be uh, losing electric charge steadily. Uh, why don't I try for the island runway? Let's go to chase view. Actually, of course, with uh, Hullcam VDS, I could have put a little camera on the body and then really get the aircraft view. Or if you've seen, some movies might have it on the vertical stabilizer.
Okay, as we get a little bit slower here, I think we can have the wings swing back out. And of course I opted for the simplest possible swing wing design here. And I'll leave the rest to your imagination. I think you get the idea. Our wheelbase is a little bit narrow, so this thing could tip over on on landing. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, there's that stupid terrain thing that I haven't figured out yet. Oh, I hope it doesn't get in our way. We've got to fly under it. Oh, come on. Okay, don't tip, don't tip. Okay, brakes. Oh, it's tipping over, it's tipping over. Oh no! Uh, okay. But the important thing is Jeb survived. Okay, well that was the fault of a short wheelbase. Not short, a narrow wheelbase. Otherwise, all good. Jeb, why don't you pop out to show everybody that you're alright. Right. Alright, so simple swing wing design all good Jeb is fine and and yeah let's continue now in the previous episode I failed to get a Probotronics ATV into orbit uh, and I want to remedy that this time but I want to do it with some some special parts so First of all, obviously, we had a big issue because this wasn't powerful enough. So let's let's just correct that right away and put some more fuel on it besides. Let's upgrade our booster capabilities as well. Uh, well, we'll keep the parachutes hanging out here. And these guys, four of them. This should get off the ground real fast. Oh dear, come on. There we go. And we could use some struts, I think. <clears throat> come on. That'll do. Could use all sorts of stuff, but let's not go there. This is probably good enough. All right, now with that, well, let's let's just double check that I'm not uh, totally off on my estimates. Uh, well, things are not lighting at the right time. Hmm. What am I missing here? Aha, okay, there we go. I think, well... Hmm. Maybe we don't even need these. Yeah, we don't even need those. Let's just add a little bit more fuel to this. Taller rocket. Oh, come on. Alright. Very good. Now we've got the business. Now it occurs to me that this, this doesn't have a... oops. Oh, what have I done wrong now? Eek. 
Oh, come on. Okay, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by the glitch. Um, I don't think this has a decoupler, does it? So, we ought to slip one of those in. Okay, so that's interesting. Now, we need to spruce this up with some Inferno Robotics and perhaps even a little bit of hull camera. How should we do that? Well, I think what we might want to do is have some solar panels. Some really big solar panels, and lots of them. So let's take a look at these powered hinges, like so. Though the shape of it is really awkward, I have to say. Let's have two of these. Hydraulic cylinder. I, I never remember whether I want telescopic piston or hydraulic cylinder. Let's get big ones. Jeez. Okay, well, this should be interesting. Let's take this out to the launch pad and see if it works first before we launch it. Let me get some struts properly configured here. And then, ooh, servo configuration not particularly happy with me right now. Uh, uh oh, we need you to work servo configuration. Let me get some options up here oh. hmm that doesn't help much why I, I, I think Inferno Robotics has been updated so maybe I've just got a bad version. Okay. Something glitchy. But yeah, let's let's try and get this into orbit and see if I can mess with it. Unfortunately we can't hotkey the stuff, which is a little bit of a pain. Well, let's not get into orbit. Let's let's get out to the launch pad. I want to see if this works before I launch it. Okay, but it's all in one group, so that's not going to work. Something's going to explode here, but let me... Oh. No, that works just fine. Wow. Okay. Maybe, maybe it is okay. Yeah. Nice sound, too. But what I really need to do is hotkey the... The solar panels so let's go back to the V but this is fine you can see what I'm doing here it's so that I can have a huge solar panel array without having a huge procedural fairing without uh, having the fairing sticking out so yeah let's go back to the VAB get the solar panels hot keyed put on the fairing and launch this sucker okay we've got a bit of the wobbles I hope it's all right I'm gonna start things out and should be interesting should be very interesting but this will be our last thing for today I think and yeah let's go ah the power of the mainsail
obviously I could have used the 3.75 meter parts in order to have a smoother fairing instead of such an egg shaped one but but you know this is all right too again the odd shape and heaviness of the payload means that controlling this is a little bit off for me here. It's a little bit difficult. Okay, it's a lot difficult. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm gonna dump the fairings. Okay. All right. And we continue. I didn't actually use AeroCam this time. I, I had the camera on the launcher. We should have turned to that view. But I was so eager to make sure I could get this thing up that I skipped that part. So again, uh, Probotronics ATV here, and we've got the hinges and telescopic pistons. Come on, telescopic piston from Infernal Robotics. It only wants to tell me about the powered hinge. Oh well. There we go. Telescopic piston segment A. Max translate, minimum translate, core speed, fine speed, you can adjust all this stuff for these guys. So if you think uh, it doesn't look like it's doing exactly what you want it to, well actually you could probably make it do exactly what you want it to. Okay, I'm going a little bit low here. If we end up on the dark side, I'll wait until we get into the light before extending the solar panels and everything. Okay, uh, I guess we'll burn some of the ATV's fuel to get into orbit. Okay, I think this is going to be a failure actually. Huh. Can you imagine that? Well, in that case, let's let's do the thing. Okay. Didn't quite get the solar panels on perfectly, but I think you get the picture. It's an interesting way of doing things and you can easily see how it would be helpful if you're making space station modules to have the telescopic pistons do that. And I guess potentially you could have multiple telescopic pistons on the same assemblage. But yeah, this puppy is not getting into orbit today I don't think. Ah well. 
it is a heavy thing. I should have actually tweaked. I should have done tweakables and tweaked the fuel and oxidizer uh, oxidizer down a bit, or maybe even the monopropellant, because it's carrying quite a lot of that. Oh well. Anyway, <laughs> it looks like we'll have to do a part three where I once again try and get this little ATV module into space. But uh, in the meantime. I think you get the idea of some of the functions, certainly not all of the functions. We haven't even come close. This tip of the iceberg sort of thing. Some of the functions of especially the Infernal Robotics pack and a little bit of AeroCam. So, yep, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments, suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.